Hey guys, welcome to this new video. Today, I will be unboxing and giving my first impressions on the NVIDIA Shield tablet. So, this is, of course, an 8-inch screen. It's the 16 gigabyte model. And, I mean, let's look at the box. We see here the front with the nice... Uh, is this aligned? Yep. With the nice tab with the tablet and the ultimate tablet for gamers. Screen size, the name, and the brand. On the side, if I get this into focus, a lot of focus. Nope. Um, it's focusing on. Just give me a second. Yeah. So this is the second side. We can see all the specs of the device there. Then down there we have the certificate things. And then if we go over to the back and get into focus again. Nice. Alright, so we can see like if you get a shield wireless controller and the shield cover, you have the ultimate gaming game experience. I have the shield uh cover, which I'm also gonna do a separate video on, and then we here we have like this translated into French, Spanish, Italian, looks like Russian, German and Polish or whatever. Then what's down there? Uh, just some copyright stuff there. Uh, blank, black, just the... And here on the left side we have the tablet and the side view of the tablet. And I feel something moving around. And now let's open this. Now I've opened this already because I got it for my birthday which was four days ago I think. And so I unboxed it already but I put everything back in as I found it. I think there's one little thing missing but you know that's gonna be right. So, ta-da! Oh yeah the tablet moved. So we're gonna put the lid over here then we have the tablet which we're gonna put aside onto the lid. Uh, we have some, you know, paperwork for making fire. Then we have uh, the power adapter, which you can either use with a UK. Well, so this is the uh, I bought this from a German store, so it comes with UK and European plug, which you just put in like so. And you can just remove it, like by pressing. Oh, it's focusing wrong again. No. Oh. No. Oh. Right there, right there. There's like a little notch thing, and you can just pull it and just push it up. Yeah, I'm gonna be using this one. Oh my God! Focus. Wrong button. Yep, and I'm gonna put this back into the box, like so. Then we have this uh, cable. It's uh, standard USB with uh, two micro USB used for charging and connecting with your computer. It's it's really nice. It has a, it has a nice uh, finish to it, and again, it's not. Yeah, sorry. Um, I pu uh, pressed the wrong button. Ha! Um, yeah, so we have the normal USB. Let's try it. Please just get into focus. Oh my god. Focus. Oh, nearly. Oh. I oh, you know, that's right. Standard USB, you know? Micro USB. Perfect. And then you have these little icons there, which are actually quite useful. I'm going to show you later why. And this one as well. Those are the, th that's the controller by the way. And yeah, the cable is, I don't know how long, I mean, looks like a meter. So it's, you know, it's long enough. But now let's put the cable to the side, the charger, let's 
put it, uh, let's put the charger together again. Put it also to the side. This can go back into the box. And we're gonna take the tablet, like so. Take the lid and also the paperwork. Put it back. Put the epic lid bag back. And we'll put this to the side. So I have to say, the unboxing experience is really, really nice. Once once you open it, it's, it has a very premium like feel to it. And I'll be back in one second because I'm have to, I'm gonna clean that screen. Alrighty, now that we got the display cleaned, let's take a look around it. So, the Nvidia Shield tablet has an 8 inch screen with the 1920 by 1200 resolution, that's Full HD. Um, it has a 2.2 GHz Nvidia Tegra K1 processor. Comes with stock Android 4.4 KitKat with the Nvidia apps. Then, it has two, uh, the front and rear facing cameras are both 5 megapixel with the 16 gigabyte internal storage that my version has. Uh, you can add a SIM, uh, micro uh, SD card of up to 128 gigabytes. It has two front facing speakers and two bass reflex ports, which both also have a built in microphone. Then, if we go to the set with the camera on, from top to bottom, there's on top there's a audio jack. Then there's a mini uh, HDMI, which you can use to connect to your TV. Then you have the micro USB port. Then you have the speaker. If you go around to the back, you see the Shield logo. It, this is a matte finish. It's really nice. It's not slippery at all. This is glossy, which is also quite nice and. You can see I've been using this for the past couple of days, and there's no fingerprints at all. I have I haven't cl uh, cleaned this si since, only the front, and on, I mean on the front of course you can see them, but on the back. So don't worry, you won't you won't have any problems. Then there's the Direct Stylus 2.0. So if we go to the top from left to right, we have the Direct Stylus 2, which I'll uh, speak more about in another video. Then uh, there's I don't actually know what that little thing is. It looks to be like something for the wireless controller. Then we have a micro SD card slot which can hold up to 128 gigs. And we have the loud Eliza volume keys and the power button. I have to say the power button is terrible. If I press it. See, nothing happens. I, I'm, I, I'm pressing it right now. Nothing's happening. It's turned on, and you know, at first you're gonna have to go through the all Google stuff setting up experience. But right now, I already did that with my private account, and I just did another user, and we're gonna open this. And once you're done with all your Googly stuff, you're going to be presented with this. So, welcome to the Shield tablet. Learn about all the Shield fe features by selecting the user guide link below. So there's a link and you can go there and you can check it out. It's quite sweet. I didn't use the link, but, you know, just to check it out anyways. So, you have the NVIDIA Direct Stylers, Stylus. Once you pull it out, the menu opens and it's quite quite sweet. Then you have the Shield Hub for all your games, and uh, most of them are optimized for Tegra, for the Tegra K1 chip. And you can also stream games from your GeForce GTX PC, so that's the um, graphics card, which I personally don't have. But so what I'm using is um, I use a Mac laptop, so it doesn't work for me. And I see right now that I only have 40 seconds more left, so I'm gonna have to switch out the SD card soon. Then we wanna press next again, the shield wireless controller, which I also don't have, uh, which I may be gonna get, because I, I want to use this tablet more than like a standard tablet, like as you like, use a Nexus or something, 
so yeah and then we hit done uh, what ah and what's going on yeah then you come up with the home screen and I'm gonna change out the SD card I'll be right back yeah, so now that we're in the home screen, we can have a look. So, standard Google things. You have the Chrome, Gmail, Google Plus, Maps, blah, 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 the Play stuff, the Google Drive, YouTube, Photos, and Hangouts. Then you, then now we have the NVIDIA stuff. You have the Shield Hub the for the wireless controller and the console mode. So basically, the console mode is when you basically have a wireless control sorry when you have a wireless controller and you can um, you connect your tablet via HDMI to your monitor or your TV and you can go to console mode and it basically looks better that's I think what it is and if you go into the shield hub blah 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 um, I mean yeah you have you have all the games you have portal which was made for the Okay, uh, one chip again. You have standard Play Store games. You have The Walking Dead, um, Twin Robots. I don't know, Bomb Squad, Dungeon Defenders. What's this? Tabletop Racing, Marvel Pinball. Some of them are free. Some of them are expend uh, cost something. Actually, what I, what I uh, realized is that most of these games are more expensive than standard Play Store games. But I mean it's her because they were made for the Tegra K1 chip and they needed extra developers and stuff to make them. So you know it doesn't really matter. I mean I the games are great. So uh, yeah so I would say that, that was it it for the unboxing and the like first look at the Nvidia Shield tablet. Thanks for watching. Please here you can now like there you can now go to my previous video and if you click there you will also go to my previous video because I only have one video. Yay! And you see it turned off again. Well not really, but now it turned off. And I think that's the sign for me to end this video. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, favorite, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.